One thing I do know as far as the way the organization is structured right now with Rivera and uh, Mayhew and company, as far as our GM and our front office, those guys are very conservative guys as far as in charge right now. You know what I mean? As much as people like to talk, I like to follow the, 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 the character and the trait of the individual making the decisions. Because uh, once you have your character and your trait, you never go by. When you make big decisions, you really go through your same process. You have a history. You know what I'm saying? We're very them, we have a history. As far as where we're positioned, as far as 19, moving all the way up to, I, we're realistically in the top seven to get any of those quarterbacks. I mean, that's mortgaging so much of the house. And, I, and Ron Rivera and Mayer and those guys, they don't really work like that in our front office. It's not like just Dan Snyder handling things. Uh, that's why you see you getting the, the Fitzpatrick and all that. He's a very conser um, conservative um, guy, defensive team oriented. So in a sense like this, I believe if a quarterback, if, we, if the quarterback do fall in a sense, we will take that chance. But as far as reaching out all the way in the top 10, I don't see that happening this year with that organization i think they're positioning themselves to to uh, to get one of their mid-tier free agents uh i think that's who i think this team is built to it's built for a super bowl contender roster real soon like real soon and i think they need a, a, a i don't think they need a younger quarterback i think one of the younger one of the guys that's going to be in the market um i think some guy in wisconsin might be free you know what i'm saying in a year or so and i think 2022 Yes, and the way the the, 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 the the Washington team is going to be positioned, that by that, that time, they're going to have one of the best defense in football, a young oh. roster, a crap load of money. Uh, so, and it would just make sense because then A-Rod could put his two fingers right there in all the Wisconsin and, the, and those so-called people that own the franchise since they don't have an owner. So all the owner, all the people that own and pay taxes of Green Bay when he's in D.C. And then I will become the biggest A-Rod fan. So everything will come full circle then I will finally be an uh, Aaron Rodgers fan. And everything I said about him, I will exclude that. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all away. <laughs> yeah, that, that never happened.